Grade 5 math number 7.3, multiply fractions and whole numbers without models. We can multiply fractions by whole numbers by multiplying the numerator by the whole number. 2 times 1 eighth becomes 2 times 1 over 8. Just remember to simplify if needed. So this is how we do it. 4 times 3 sevenths, we think we need to find 4 groups of 3 seventh size pieces. We put the 4 whole number times 3 above the denominator 7, and we do our math. 4 times 3 is 12 over 7. Now we need to simplify this improper fraction. How many 7 sevenths can we pull out of here? 1 with 5 sevenths left over. That gives us 1 and 5 sevenths as our simplified answer. See, wasn't that easy? If we have 6 times 5 sixths, we end up with 6 times 5 over 6, which is 30 over 6. And we ask ourselves, how many times can this 6 fit into the 30? 5 times evenly. We don't even have a fraction. We have a whole number for an answer. 3 fourths times 7 becomes 3 times 7 over 4. See how we just pretty much are just putting it over it? See? It's 21 over 4. So how many times does 4 fit into 21? This line right here, this flat fraction line, is really a division sign. 4 times 5 is 20, and for 21 there would be 1 left over, so we have 5 and 1 fourth, because the 1 fourth would be left over. Tao's recipe says to use 3 fourths cup sugar, but she wants to make 5 batches, so how much sugar will she need? We're going to do 3 fourths times the 5 batches. So we're going to put the 3 times 5 over the 4. That's 15 over 4. How many 4s fit into 15? 3, with 3 left over. So 3 fourths left over. So it's 3 and 3 fourths cups. Just make sure that you're simplifying. When you're finished, you can't leave them as improper fractions, and you can't leave them as fractions that are equivalent to a simplified one. You've got to make them as small as they can get, okay? So wasn't that easy? That's how we can multiply fractions with whole numbers, by just using the numbers, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.